All right, Sculpture Kids, we are on to part two of our nature art unit. You may recognize this piece of work by Tony Craig. All right, so today you are asked to actually get outside. Yes, that is right. Get outside and gather things that you find. It is our nature scavenger hunt. Um, they can The objects that you find can be natural objects or man-made objects, but they need to be found outside. You will only be using what you find to create a nat nature sculpture of your own. So there's no tape, glue, yarn, paint, or other materials you can find in your home. I'm asking you to, similar to the, like, the triangle sculpture or even the mobiles, um, using materials that is in front of you and creating your own sculpture. Now I know both of those pieces that you guys made, you were allowed to use tape and glue, but for this one, I want you to kind of find your inner Andy Goldsworthy patience and ability to balance or to create something that's on the ground that you look down onto to create a work of like two-dimensional sculpture um, without using any other materials. So how long should this hunt be? About 20 minutes. Um, yes, you need to be outside for at least 20 minutes. Go for a walk, walk around your yard, your neighborhood, go to a park, get creative as long as you're using the um, suggested social distancing. Um, and I want you to possibly bring a bag or a wheelbarrow or something to kind of gather your materials, depending on how large the materials you're going to find. Um, I know I'm asking you to go out in public or in your neighborhood and like pick up stuff from the ground. People are going to look at you. It's fine. It's all good. You just need to go out and find some really cool objects that are going to inspire you to make something unique and different um, for this project. Take a picture of the pile of objects that you've gathered at the end of your scavenger hunt and submit it to Google Classroom the scavenger hunt goodies, which is submitted or which is up on Classroom right now under the assignments. So the first thing you're going to do after getting your um, objects from your um, scavenger hunt is just think back to what you learned from Goldsworthy and Craig. Um, do you think that your sculpture is going to be 3D or more 2D? Will your sculpture be more linear, which means like the stacking or the um, more geometric uh, lines and simple shapes? Or do you think it's to be more organic and natural, similar to more of like the Goldsworthy type of style? Um, will it be something that you want displayed inside or outside? And will the sculpture look like something? So is it going to look like a cat or a dog? or, um, you know, a shape, or is it going to just be whatever it ends up being, which is totally fine. Either is totally fine. Whatever makes you get more creative is completely up to you. After you've kind of thought about these questions and number one, you're going to go ahead and sketch an idea of what you'll like to create. Um, please include a list of materials that you'll use and a rough idea of how big your sculpture is going to be. Now, this is super rough. So, if it ends up being that your sculpture is half the size or twice the size of your original plan, that's totally fine. But again, as usual, I want you guys to go ahead and try to come up with a plan um, of what you're going to create so you have a starting off point. You are going to submit your sketch to Google Classroom in the Nature Art Sketches assignment. After that, it's then time to go ahead and start creating your sculpture of materials. That you found. Um, this sculpture can take anywhere from two to five hours. Yes, that sounds like a lot, but in class you're you guys are given four days, four to five days to create a project. Um, so keep in mind what the first ideas you had might not always be the best idea, and you need to be patient. So work with the materials, with gravity, not against them, and uh, maybe what you had in mind might not be exactly what you end up creating, and that's okay. Um, I just more of the experience of using a different material, going outside, um, and kind of using the inspiration from Goldsworthy and Craig to create this type of sculpture. So after you finish the sculpture, um, which you guys aren't expected to finish until um, right before Easter, um, we had that Good Friday off. So right before then is when it's due. So you still have about two weeks. Um, take a picture of your sculpture when it's done and you're gonna submit to Google Classroom in the nature art final work. All right, so one thing I did wanna say is when you go to your 
classwork. And I have here um, nature art final work. It says submit pictures of your final artwork. Make sure pictures are of good quality. Artwork is centered in the frame, which means that it's not off to the side. When you take the picture, make sure it's right in the middle. It's clear and not blurry. You can do close-ups as well. So you can submit more than one picture. Um, if there's certain like little details you want to show off, then make sure to take more than one picture. Um, be thorough with picture taking since it's the only way I'm going to be able to see um, the work that you made and assess it based on the pictures. So also making sure that the pictures aren't too dark or too light. Um, you know, just make sure they're of good quality, something that you would enjoy looking at. Um, Instagram worthy, I guess, would be the keyword here. So just take your time when taking these pictures. If you guys have any questions, please make sure to email me. I am here through email. Um, so yeah, have fun. Good luck. You can do this.